Uh, yesterday, a very tragic event uh, happened in Capedo, where a senior officer who was on a reconnaissance mission, uh, because he'd been tasked to identify a suitable place for relocation of the GSU personnel who are currently at Capedo Center, Capedo Village, so that they are moved to a more strategic area because we believe that uh, where their current station is not appropriate for them to protect the people whenever there are attacks like what happened recently. Um, and it was during that, that mission that uh, the officer was attacked, a senior officer, deputy director of operations was attacked and killed, um, and two other officers that he was, he was with in a police land cruiser were injured and they are currently in, uh, in hospital receiving uh, uh, treatment. Um, the most unfortunate part about the, all this is that um, these officers were not engaged in active operation in that area. So there was no reason whatsoever for anybody to feel uh, like they can do anything to stop, uh, to stop it. Um, as I've said, we are dealing with the, an entrenched culture of impunity, uh, which we need now to, to deal with it and deal with it very firmly. Uh, if we don't do that, we are going to lose our country. Because when it reaches a point where uh, people feel like they can do whatever they do and, and get away with it, then we are trading on very, very, very dangerous ground. Um, we are going to impose ourselves as government in that area and ensure that the rule of law is returned and, um, and, and, and sustained. Uh, that, that's all we can say for now. Not, not yet. Not yet. Walikuwa nafanya baraza huko jana. Walikuwa pamoja na wama officer huko. Hawa wako nyumbani. Sini trukana is. So na kuwa swadi na nyumbani na mnagani. If, if leaders are not, are, not, are not appropriate for the responsibilities, I think the mandate of changing leaders is not mine. Um, it's for the local people to realize that um, if they want to achieve certain aspirations, and then you need to fit the leaders that you want to, to enable you get those aspirations. Um, but I think the time for blame games is, is, is over. Uh, everybody will carry their own cross. It's unfortunate because I think now the level we've reached, we've crossed that red line. It was crossed. Um, because we've lost two officers in the space of of two weeks. Um, and both of those officers who died were not engaged in an active operation in that in that area. The other ones were looking for firewood because they used firewood to cook in, that, in those areas. These other ones, as I said, they were looking for a suitable sighting of a formed unit, a better place to put officers. So both of them were just attacked. By, by local guys there without any reason whatsoever. We can't say they were in active combat. Um, and that's why I'm saying uh, these guys are now challenging government. Um, all lives matter, civilian lives matter, and the lives of officers also matter. And we'll give an appropriate response. If, if leaders are not, are, not, are not appropriate for the responsibilities, I think the mandate of changing leader is not mine. Um, it's for the local people to realize that um, if they want to achieve certain aspirations, uh, and then you need to fit the leaders that you want to, to enable you get those aspirations. Um, but I think the time for blame games is, is, is over. Uh, everybody will